Our first speaker tonight shares his experience working on an independent movie shoot right here in South Florida. You will laugh and you will cry as you learn about the process of making money for nothing. This five to seven minutes presentation is warm up your audience from the humorous speaking manual. Please help me welcome Advanced Communicator Silver, Advanced Leader Bronze, Nick Smith. All right, guys, this is a nice, easy shot. We're just setting the scene. You're here, you're just hitting the panel ball. Nice and easy. Don't do anything stupid. Let's see. Places. Action. And there I was. I was playing paddle ball in this fake paddle ball game, being shot in the background. We were extras. Me and my friend Dan were just hitting the ball back and forth, nice and easy. And he hit the ball kind of hard. And I had to run back to, to, to hit the ball, right? And you know me, I'm pretty nimble on my feet. I'm not terribly athletic, but I can, I can move around on my feet. And I'm backing up, my eyes on the ball, and it's not on the sandbag at the back of the court someone left there. And it wasn't just, whoa. No, no, no. It was more like, whoa, I don't know. <laughs> and I fell on my, well, yeah, it ended up in the blooper reel. <sighs> Madam Toastmaster, hello, Toastmasters, and warmly welcome guests. This is my story of working on an independent film project that was put together by my friend. It was called Money for Nothing. And what had happened is his 11-year-old niece approached him and said, G. Cool Uncle, who worked in the movie industry, who was a prop master in Bad Boys 2, directly under Michael Bay, I want to make a movie. And being the cool uncle he was, he said, okay, well, bring me a script, expecting her as you know, an 11-year-old niece to not really come up with anything. But she actually came up with a, a pretty good movie script for what you'd expect from an 11-year-old. It had a story, and it had plots, and it had characters. And Chris decided, let's make a movie out of this. And he enlisted my help, being his friend who has some broadcast experience and technical experience. And it was a fun movie. It was about some kids whose friend who was financially well off, their family having a uh, a lifestyle downsizing, and this was in 2009, so it was timely. And they had this great message where you, uh, your friends are more important than money. So it was, had a great message, it was a good story, and I was brought on board to help out in a number of different ways. The first thing I had to do was be a boom operator. Who here knows what a boom operator is? Okay, so a few of you. So I'll explain briefly what a boom operator is. You've probably seen this before on TV or the news, where there's a guy with a microphone on a pole holding it just above or just below, sometimes on the ground, holding it just out of frame, trying to get that microphone as close as possible to the actors so their dialogue's picked up so it can be caught by the equipment. That was an interesting experience. And I also helped out with the post-production of this movie. This is where all the footage we took during the filming of it is brought together into software on the computer and stitched together with all the transitions between the scenes. I was sort of a consultant. I offered my opinions. I offered some technical assistance when the rendering of the video in that file didn't go, that production didn't go very well. But I got to be involved with that part. But the final experience that comes to mind that has a little bit of a Toastmasters connection was I had the opportunity to introduce the director at our premiere event. This was at Parkway Christian School on Flamingo Road. Their auditorium holds two, three hundred people. It was full. And I had to stand up in front of this group and talk about my movie experience, a little bit like I'm doing here, and then introduce my friend so he could talk about his experience as director, and then we played the movie. The premiere was a neat event. It was fun putting that together. We had a rope line with a red carpet, and of course the actors in this movie were children, and they had probably never rode in a limousine before, so we had them show up in the limousine and come out one at a time, and they were giving autographs, and there was flash photography, and we had these big posters with their faces on them and their names. It was neat to be part of that. Many of you here know Steve Bradbury. He played sax at that event, so that was another Toastmasters connection. But it was just a really 
really enjoyable experience bringing this all together. There wasn't any money, it wasn't shown at the Cannes Film Festival. It was just a community event that us and some friends threw together. My friend Chris is a little bit like me, he likes giving his nieces and nephews bigger in life experiences. And what's cooler than being part of a real feeling movie production? So if you ever have the opportunity to participate in something like this, be in an you know, independent movie shoot or, or shoot a commercial, or something like we'll do today for Toastmasters, right? We'll be filming you all and doing a little promotional video for our, for our club. I, I suggest go ahead and, and jump on board and, and be part of that process. It's a, it's a memorable experience. It's something you'll treasure your whole life. I do have one piece of advice for you all, though. Don't end up on the blooper reel. Madam Toastmaster.